Today we're building a mystical forest for our clouded leopards because honestly I had some space left over. But anyways, hey everyone, my name is Boys and Blade. I hope all of you are doing well today. And before we actually get started with the video, don't forget to hit the like button because it does help out a lot. And now let's see what this crazy squirrel got up to. So before we actually get started, I want to ask a simple question. Japan. Are you okay? Do you need to talk to someone? Because whenever you look up like Japanese forest or just like forest in general, like when you look up any forest, you usually get like pretty pictures. Like when you look up Scandinavian forest, you kind of want to burn the forest down because it looks too pretty. Like don't look up Scandinavian forests or landscapes because you will get jealous and you will start wanting to burn it down, even though you shouldn't do that, especially with today's climate. But when you look up Japanese forests, Take a guess what looked back at me on like the fifth image on the first row of the Google image search. Yeah, a freaking demon monster thingy. I have no idea what it really was, but it looked just like a... Take a naked mole rat, give it like the body of or like the structure of a human, but then also just like squish it in weird ways. That's what was looking back at me on like the first row of the Google image search. And I know... A lot of places will have their haunted creepy forests. Usually those don't stare back at you in the Google image search, at least not until the like the fifth row. Like after the fifth row, that's where the demons start popping up. However, on the first row, eh, probably shouldn't be there. But then when it came to just like Japanese forests, a lot of the pictures were just dark and creepy. <laughs> Which again, when you look up forests or landscapes, usually the internet wants to show you the pretty pictures. When you look up Japanese forests, they just want to suck out your soul, I think. I'm just joking, there's... When it comes to forests, they are always creepy when they're photographed at night. And always creepy to stay in at night. It's like, who the fuck wants to go camping? Like, everything in the forest at night starts making sounds. Everything starts sounding like an axe-wielding psychopath is going to show up. Like, even the axe-wielding psychopath is going to get scared in the forest. Like, he's going to just jump into your tent and just be like, Please, let me stay here. Forest, scary. <coughs> and then he cho chops your body in half. I know that, like, when it comes to scary or just forest, I'm not staying there at night. I've seen enough horror movies. I have some color in my skin, which means I'm going to die first. Especially because I have glasses. Like, when I get dropped into a horror movie, my glasses will inevitably fall from my face, I will step on them because that's the stereotype when you have the nerd walking in a horror movie, and then I get murdered in some type of way, especially since I have some color in my skin. That's just like, you know, a plus because I have glasses, another plus because I'm kind of a nerd, and then another plus for, oh, you have some color in your skin. I'm just like, you are just going to die, bitch. Like, I am not going to survive in a horror movie, and I know that, so I'm going to stay the freak away from anything that looks even remotely like it could be the start of a horror movie. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, scary Japanese forest. I didn't go with the scary Japanese forest for today's build because it's Eve Zoo, so no haunted forests here. I just went for like a mystical vibe because the other half of like the Google image search and actually mostly of or the most of the Pinterest image search because I used both of those for this build. Most of them gave just this like really mystical like old feeling forest. So that's what I wanted for this habitat and then I immediately thought all right so I want that for this habitat what can I fit in this habitat. The only thing that I could fit into this freaking habitat was a Chinese pangolin. However for a Chinese pangolin this habitat would have been too large or at least the Chinese pangolin would have just completely disappeared in it. But for every other animal, this habitat was too small. Because it was already, like, when I started building it, it was completely encased in ropes so, or paths. So I couldn't really expand it easily. And I could have just gone the easy road, made it a Chinese pangolin habitat. Although I was also looking at a Japanese sheepdog, or not sheepdog, a Japanese raccoon dog, actually. The ones that in every animation and such are incredibly adorable but I was looking at those but you know the mods and then the update they need to be updated so 
inevitably I ended up with like, all right, I can't use a Chinese pangolin. The mods right now are off the table for now. I'm definitely going to look back at those in like a month. But then it was just like, all right, the only option that I have is Chinese pangolins. Fuck that, we're going with clouded leopards. I'm going to make this habitat larger. So I had to build a bridge or a tunnel to expand the habitat so that it goes over the road or underneath the road so that I could build a new section for the habitat so that the habitat was large enough. And huh, I built a lot of things already before I started thinking of like, oh, I need to make this habitat larger because I thought at first that it was large enough for the clouded leopards. It wasn't. But then I also figured out, or found out the hard way, that all of my habitat, like the barriers that I built, are climbable. All of the things that you want to be climbable are not climbable. All of the things that you don't want to be climbable are climbable. I mean, I could have seen this coming because all of like the barriers that I built with the roofs, like the roofs are built of the bamboo logs and those are climbable. However, they are like four meters off the ground, so I thought I was safe, but no, the clouded leopards, I mean, it's a cat. What did we expect? Cats are insane. I'm speaking from experience. I once had a cat that was so insane that the staircase, like, going up, it has like a bit of, um... Let's just say my cat went that fast that he didn't use the staircase. Like, you have to kind of turn like uh, 180 degrees to go up the staircase from the living room. Yeah, know what my cat did? He didn't use the staircase. He just went so fast that in that 180 turn, he didn't actually turn enough, I think. So he just ran up the wall like a freaking Spider-Man. And we definitely, I mean, he did have his crazy moment. So he might have been possessed by the Japanese demonic ex-building psychopath. Yeah, I'm never going to let that image go. <laughs> I mean, again, Japan, I hope you're okay. Also, of course, I know that every place around the world has their scary forest. Uh, but in the case of Japanese forest, they looked back at me on the first row, fifth image. I'm not going to let that go. However, when it comes to my cat, I did sadly had to let him go because, well, he died. That's it. He was insane. Like, you usually, when you have cats, you have like two versions. Like, you have the just aloof cat just well actually three versions you have the very like attention needy cat like the very adorable one who just constantly walks along with you there's i think two cats that i usually see each morning where like the owners letting their dog out is like taking a walk with their dog and at like five meters behind them there's a cat walking just like following them patiently but then you also have your just aloof just like don't fuck with me cat and then you have the crazy ones like you your cat is one of these three, usually. But anyways, what was I talking about? Because we went from demons looking back at me from a Google image search to my cat was insane. I'm definitely, well, I'm not a cat person. I'm just an animal person. Anything that's just floofy. But then not even floofy. Like I like snakes as well. I'm just, I'm just insane. Anyways, back to the actual habitat. So the entire habitat was just like, I want just for this to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was the biggest thing. I wanted a mystical like Japanese forest or Japanese Taiwanese because the cloud leopards were never native to Japan as, I've, as far as I'm aware. They were at one point native to Taiwan but they haven't been seen in a long time so they are thought to be extinct there but I was just using that excuse of like oh cloud leopards used to be in, J in Taiwan. I want to say Japan but in Taiwan so it's just like I'm going to use that as an excuse because I want a cat in my Japanese section. Even though that we are going to get our Siberian tigers later in, but I wanted another cat. I just, I want more cats in Yves Zoo. I think I'm going to like, I don't want to put every elephant or every rhino in Yves Zoo, but all of the cats. Also all of the wolves. Everything that might eat me, but is adorable at the same time. Yeah, I have issues, I think. I've watched way too much Narnia and just any movie with animals where they're friendly, even though their real life counterpart would freaking eat you. But anyway, I should go back to the actual habitat. So this is the habitat that I built the most for, but also deleted the most for. And I definitely lost my mind here. Like I definitely was possessed by the demon creature on my Google image search because I built four bridges. 
because as I said, the habitat is enclosed, or at least the first section of the habitat was completely enclosed with pots already. So I couldn't really destroy the pots because then my layout was going to be completely wrong. So I had to make it so that the cloud leopards could go over or underneath the pot to get to the second section of the habitat. Yeah, for some reason I built four bridges. I am the person who hates building bridges. It's actually the thing that I still need to do for the lakeside in Evesu. I need to build a bridge. But I've just been constantly just pushing that away of like, I will do that later, I will do that later because I don't like building bridges when I need to. However, when it's an animal bridge, I'm like all for it. Like the Siberian or the Snow Leopard habitat. Well, Siberian, the Siberian Tiger habitat or the Snow Leopard habitat is definitely going to get a bridge. One of those two, I don't know which one but one of them, but I have no idea why it's like, oh, human bridge, nah, animal bridge, yes, I don't know why, but anyways, eventually it was just like, fuck this, these bridges are too annoying, even though I basically made a slide because I made like the floor of the bridge from glass, but there's like a uphill part because it of course needs to go over the pot, and I thought like, yeah, snow or clouded leopards are definitely going to be able to climb glass. So there was definitely some stupidity on my part when it comes to that, but then I also made it out of wood and it still didn't work and it didn't look right. Although now we still need something to go over the pot because now the pot just looks empty because it was kind of built to have an animal bridge, but now it has a tunnel. So it means that I need to find something to go over the pot, like over the main pot, because the pot is just, as I said, it looks empty empty even though there's foliage and such on both sides it still kind of looks empty but then the other thing that i built that i wanted to make like this sort of special feature of this app that was tree houses because i mean clouded leopards like they are big on climbing so i thought like oh let's build a tree house tree house somehow poison interpreted that as like let's put an entire pagoda into a tree not a small pagoda not like the japanese not, not the japanese the red crowned cranes those have like a small or small, they have a sort of small pagoda. No, I wanted to build a four story pagoda into a tree. Actually, I didn't want to build it, I built. And then I realized, yeah, this is too large. Uh, this is, was one of the times where my too much gene just went a little bit overboard. But yeah, I built an entire freaking pagoda, just completely top to bottom, was completely finished. And I deleted it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really delete it, there's a blueprint of it, but didn't fit in here so it went away but then i decided all right let's do something smaller let's build a japanese shrine and this is where my saying of like i have zero knowledge on this comes into play because when it comes to a japanese shrine they whenever i looked them up there were always these sort of like ropes with these tufts hanging down and i to this day don't know why that is it definitely has like some religious meaning because I mean, it's a shrine, so most things attached to a shrine have like some religious meaning. But if anybody wants to explain what the meaning behind like the rope with the tufts or the knots in it means, I would highly appreciate it because I don't know. I did add it, but this is again, like I have zero knowledge. I don't like I know that I needed to build this, but I didn't know why I needed to build this. So if anyone can explain me why these like knots and the tufts are with these Japanese shrines, please let me know. But anyways, yes, so I built an entire bonsai tree just to put the shrine in because I don't know how to say no to something. Well, I know how to say no in like real life, especially in the morning. I I just have made it a joke of like, if I need to be strict poison, I will do that in the morning because I am definitely not a morning person. When it came to this build, it was just like, yeah, treehouse. Like the realistic sides to poison should be saying no, but then early morning poison is just like yes. I shouldn't build things that I want to be slightly realistic in the morning because I'm just not going to. Like throughout the day, I'm like, all right, I'm like energy levels are kind of normal, but at 3 a.m. in the morning, oh boy, <laughs> that's where I'm just like hyper and just want to build everything that I see. When I need to like, like this is something that actually has happened quite a lot before. Like I somewhat postpone or just like push away what I need to finish for like a build. And then I realize, oh, I need to finish this today or like soon. 
And then I just like set my alarm to like 3 a.m. in the morning and I know that I'm going to have like way too much energy then. So yes. However, well, I say I set my alarm. I just wake up at 3 a.m. sometimes. Although sometimes I have definitely just stayed up just waiting for the 3 a.m. energy rush. Like I know how my body works. At 3 a.m. I will get an energy rush no matter what. But anyway, so I built one shrine in a tree. I wanted to build a second shrine also in a tree, but then I decided let's build these two sections of the habitat to kind of feel like two different areas. So the first section, the main section is like this Japanese forest looking place. And then the second section is more of this Japanese mountain shrine kind of looking place. Both of these are just not accurate, I'm just going to say that right from the bat. I mean, I don't didn't know what, or don't know, because I still don't know what the ribbons and the ropes and the tufts mean. But I just wanted to build a mountain shrine or something that kind of gave the vibe of like a mountain shrine. And then one that was just in a forest, in a tree for some reason. Maybe it's just like one of those really old mystical shrines and then a tree grew up underneath it and pushed the shrine up. Or at least that's the story that Eve Zoo is going to tell you. Because <laughs> I have to somehow make this marketable. <laughs> because that's Eve Zoo for you. I mean, I always liked the idea that there's just some evil corporation behind Eve Zoo. I constantly have ideas to build like their headquarters, like in front of Eve Zoo. But then I'm also like, yeah, you guys are probably tuning in for Eve Zoo, not Evil Eve Corporation. <laughs> but anyways, the Shiba is actually almost done. With the Shima, I mean the Japanese section of the Asian area. So the Shima only has like a small area that I still need to build up, which is definitely going to have like some shops, maybe some staff buildings, and then the Siberian Tiger Habitat. And yes, I did put a poll up saying like, oh, we're going to have the small cloth other next, or at least you guys voted for the small cloth other, which was supposed to be this video. However, that's not how I built. Because as soon as you guys started voting for the small cloth Asian other, I was just like, fuck me. <laughs> I was really hoping that like by some luck the Siberian Tiger was going to get chosen, but the small cloud Asian otter isn't connected to any of the habitats that I've built so far. Or at least not up until the clouded leopard habitat. Now it is connected to that habitat, or at least the built up areas are going to be connected. Because this is how I always built. I built one build and then I built the next build next to it so that I don't really have to worry about blending the area between those two builds because as I'm building like the second build I'm already building off of the first build so that the blending between those areas just goes naturally. I really don't like it when I built one area and then the other build is like completely on the other side. So that's also why I was really afraid that we were going to get a South American animal pack. I still want one. However, I was deadly afraid of it as well because it meant that like I would need to build it somewhere far away and then I had to worry about blending the areas together later on. This is just my very long excuse for why we're not going to have a small cloud Asian otter in this video. Although I am working on it for next video. And because the previous video was just a talking video where I didn't have to build, I'm actually ahead of schedule because this video is recorded on Sunday and it's going to get released on Wednesday, which is, I think, the most up to date I have ever been, or at least the most I've been ready in advance. So. I have a whole week to build a small cloud Asian otter habitat now, which is definitely going to be huge. It's definitely not going to only be the small cloud Asian otter. I'm definitely going to put more animals into it. Maybe a rhino, maybe a tapir, maybe a water buffalo, maybe all of them. I don't know. It's huge, so anything can go. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to say, hope you could make sense of this chaos, but I think if I ask you guys to do that, I will make some minds explode because I go from point A to point Z to point C to point K. Like, I don't have... Like, I sometimes try to have, like, a line going throughout my videos when it comes to the voiceover. Most of the time, it's just like, Hey, Poison, you talked about this. Let's now talk about this. Oh, you wanted to talk about that? Nah, let's go with point C. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there is the like button. It does help out a lot when it comes to the algorithm. There's also the subscribe button. And of course, that's if you want to see more. And there's the notification button. But before that one starts working, 
I will stop sitting sitting cross-legged for these voiceovers and will actually start feeling my toes again. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I wish all of you a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.